So at GSK, we realized that the, uh, the ability to, to generate this, this biological data at scale and uh, interrogate what's happening is, is key to undiscovering new medicines. But because the data is so vast, because we have so much of it and it's in different modalities, we need machine learning to make sense of it. So machine learning is that middle piece with kind of the glue that pulls us all together. And it's absolutely critical and core to our, to our strategy as a company. So machine learning at GSK allows us to take complex data sets generated at scale and answer very, very challenging biological questions. What we'd really like to make is models that have a really, really large window so they can see a lot of the DNA at once because there are large scale, long term, large scale, scale effects across the DNA of how it all wraps up and, and talks together. And we know that the greater the window size has been, the better the models have been, they've to un uncover more biology. What we're really excited by Cerebus is the ability, and particularly with the new weight streaming hardware, is the ability to do um, on a single device um, to build models of really um, un we're unconstrained by memory now, where we can flow both the computational graph and the data at the same time to the chip. Right? That's pretty unique. The last thing we want as uh, machine learning people was really to be kind of constrained by a compute, right? And I always tell everybody just just assume that co the computation exists. So what we really want is a computational device that allows us to build neural networks of any size and memory. Memory. I don't want to worry about can I fit my network on the on the GPU and my data set and things like that. I really want to be unconstrained by that. And then we're seeing an advance in that sorts of things. But with uh, the weight streaming hardware, that, that's actually the closest thing that gets gets us to that of thinking about well, we actually really don't have any constraints on memory anymore because we are streaming at the same time the the neural network itself. So literally the the architecture of those individual neurons, the weights and biases at the same time as the data. And that allows us to build a network of any size, like really any size, right? You're just paying off some time. And that allows us to really explore some of these questions in a way that we really couldn't easily do with some of the other comp computing approaches. So for us, Cerebus is critical for GSK because it really allows us to explore and push and really live up to the idea of like, let's really make the most use, make most use of the data possible um, without being constrained by what we can currently do now. And our relationship with Cerebus has been great in terms of we started working with them and uh, much like our experimental colleagues, we sort of say, well, we like to do the following crazy things. And, uh, you know, you guys sit around and like walk away and come back and actually figure, we thought about it, it is possible, but this is what it would take. And that's been a, a really great, um, great collaboration for us.